Right, give up. Wait for them to uh, wait for them to send me their new location after I've been back to the key. They're tracking me. I'm not tracking them. Fine. To the key we go. If. There we go. Get my jump computer to cooperate. Undock. No, not undock. Honestly. I am going to absolutely go insane doing this job. Oh, yeah, I also need... Now that I've left civilization, let's get back into my pirate gear. Oh, also... I contemplated. I did contemplate Vasco going to enhance and asking for a bit of uh, plastic surgery to hide my identity but I'm not ruining this face now if I'd have decided I was going to become a pirate and be evil then maybe yeah but then all my friends would have not been impressed with me and I, I couldn't do that to the memory of my wife honestly uh, hello neighbor yeah, that's my robot. His name is Vasco. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Why? Uh, do you not want to hear what happened in Neon? Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, Pat on the head. Yeah. Are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. Do you have any idea the trouble I just have been caused for us? Fine. <sighs> what is the problem? Someone overcook a potato in the microwave? Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Better than you. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Come on. Fine. Greetings, Captain. Greetings, Vasco. What kind of name is Sis Def anyway? We've been over this. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Sweet. Cold. Oh, okay. You don't like it cold then. Fine. Uh, she's being a smart ass with me, I'll be a smart ass with her. Uh oh. Standoff time. Uh there we go. What's the matter and now? You are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? <laughs> I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Data, yes. It's here. <sighs> What's going on with the batteries? I've just been shouted at about coming here and finding out, so can you tell me? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay, then. Stay so why was she shouting at me? Stay and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for, or not? Yes, yes. Hey. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to hmm. repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sistef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While really? we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Okay. What do you mean? And how do you know that they're massing? I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, 
they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Wow. Okay. Um, why is the legacy so important in this situation? Shouldn't we be defending the place? Oh my god. Haven't you been paying attention? Yeah, yes. The only reason half the fleet's captains haven't scattered across the settled systems is because they're waiting for their part of the score. No money means no protection. No protection means we are done when sea staff arrives. Simple enough for you? Okay, right. I mean... Alright, then tell me exactly what you want me to do. Exactly. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump uh -huh. out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Right. What? happens if nothing's there you better pray that isn't the case because that means we are done as in no more crimson fleet okay which part are we building these modules at where do i need to build them everything you'll need for ship repair and construction is down in jess's section of the key right if you have any questions about the modules she'll have all the answers okay and what's the catch? Because there always is a catch. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? No. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm going to give you and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money... That currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Hmm. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Right. What if he can't crack it, though? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. Oh, okay. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, hmm. I'm not worried. All right. Why will I need two transfer modules to open the vault? And by the way, will I need to take somebody with me to use them? Is it like use them simultaneously, simultaneously, however you want to say it? Because those Galbank ships were carrying so much money, they didn't even trust their own crew. Okay. Well, you can count on me then. Yeah, I sure hope so. Look, I'm going to make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. <laughs> okay. Is the more to Crixus like is than just the money? Other than the fact that if you'll have the, the fame and law of it all. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal. A principle. That Crick sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs mm. on the side, killing each other. Becoming spacers, becoming eclectic. The fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crick's believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course. How long? It wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. Hmm. Who are these captains you keep mentioning? You've met some of them already. Mathis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet. And each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Okay. Um, heads up, Mathis won't be. He attacked me. I had to kill him. Sorry. Okay, what's the biggest worry about this upcoming attack? I mean, is it a time thing? How long have I got to get this done? The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. 
Advanced shield deck, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Krix's legacy. Okay. Right. Interesting. Nice to know. By the way, I was trying to get you an Aurora deal set up. But uh, we can you talk about that later. Talking. I was just telling you about that Aurora deal. Alright, it's time to go. Get moving before it's too late. Yeah. Look, we're going to have to do some selling. Uh, selling, quick nap, get the ship updated. Oh, it's not like I'm going straight back out the door. Okay. Jasmine. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Yeah. Okay. What about these defensive batteries? There are three defensive batteries. Basically high-powered military space turrets triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly mm. wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive yeah. as hell to keep operational. Well, you just need them operational for the next day or two, don't you, really? Okay, how's the comm spike going to help me find the legacy? The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. Okay. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Yes. And this conduction grid, is it definitely going to keep me safe and get me to the legacy? Help me get there in one piece, sort of thing? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy. Like, say, the EM field surrounding Bannock 4. But it can't store the power. Okay. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull. Insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. Right. Nice. Well, mind helping me sort all that out with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. Right. Well... Okay, well, I'd like to view, modify my ship, set up the new configuration, then while you install that, I'm probably going to go for a nap, and then I'll be off. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. Oh, it's a monstrosity. Well, this will have to do. And it's cost me a hundred grand, honestly. Right, get that built. Yep. Get that built. I'm okay. Busy. Make it quick. I'm off. I need to do some stuff. <sighs> okay. Oh, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me. Hi. Rook. Been hearing some stuff about the mantis being back. Yeah, yeah. If I ever find that bastard, the things I do to them. Like what? Those crabs hey. ain't gonna steal themselves. What are you still doing here? Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. Well, that's nice. Let's go. Let's go. The advantages to having Vasco on the ship is I know he doesn't need sleep. So the chances of him letting him start some kind of listening device to me on here is not that high. We're heading off, mate. Let's get going. Oh. 
Sounds like a candle is getting ready to make shit hit the fan. There's no guarantee that's a good thing if I haven't finished getting the evidence he needs to keep these people in prison. We best go see him. <sighs> Proceed to vigilant. Is that a good thing or not? If I don't report in, they're not going to go for the attack. But then again, the quicker I report in, the less the key will have its defences up and running. Hmm. Right, where are... Ah, right. They're at Sagan, are they? That doesn't matter, because... Thanks to... Starship Design Level 3... I was able to get the parts, well, the stolen parts from the uh, the pirates that will let me, where is it, that one, jump to here. Hopefully I'll be able to find, I mean, this ring. If I get this ring, won't it, will it let me? I mean, is the bartender the, the, the main person I should be trying to... What's the word? Set up? I don't know. Uh, supply lines. Bayou does my head in. I, I, I do not like that man. Hmm. Maddie's ring get the dessert. I'm going to go here first because the UC are going to wait for me. Luckily. So that means I can. They don't know where I'm jumping to. So they don't know that I'm going there first. Where is it again? It was over here somewhere. Yes, it was. Zelazny. Right. Okay, the ship's got 30. Let's go for it. Okay. Have a look at the situation of boy. Could use your help. We're dead in the water here. I had a Hello? good feeling about you. We just need a little. Two units of ship parts will do. Oh. Yeah, no problem. Here you go. You're a lifesaver. Here, take these for your help. Thanks, mate. Believe it or not, we're on the same team. And this is why you don't fly around in a pirate ship with red painted all over it and a transponder that says Crimson Fleet. You fly around in a ship that looks independent because it is. Um, really, the fact... The fact that the uh, Crimson Fleet have had me doing all these undercover missions has helped out. Because if they had me running around just being a usual pirate, I would be in big doo-doo right now. Deserted Ecliptic Garrison, let's go and have a look. Ugh. The sting, honestly, it doesn't... I should probably paint it, but I've had to stick a couple of Novas on top for all the extra equipment I need to use. On the bright side, I have got stronger shields now. Still not as strong as I would like, but they've got nine on them now compared to the six or seven I had previously, so... Yep. The damn sight stronger is what I'm getting at. <sighs> These guys aren't expecting me, so... And it's a ecliptic, so that's the. What is it that one does? Isn't that the one that makes people drop the weapons? Oh, and Vasco! Oh, he's outside again. There you are. Listen, mate, bringing you with me. 
How can I be of service, Captain? I will me. follow behind you. Also, what weapons have you got? Let me have a Captain look Tom, at your weapons. How can I be of assistance? Let me just look at your weapons. What weapons are you carrying? An anti-personnel advanced mag shot. Is that the one? Nova Blast Disrupt. You, you don't seem to be using it very well. How about I put you on... Well, I don't know. Fire rate of 50? Is that supposed to be pretty fast? Hey, try that. Oh, hang about. Here's a question. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm an idiot. Right, 7.7. .7. Let's give you some of those. See if you actually use it if I give you some ammo. That might be what the problem is. I mean, it's not like I don't have enough of them. Yeah, I have 2,000 of them. Goodbye. Right. Will you use that now? Yeah, that looks like someone who was waiting to see who was turning up. Are they violent? That is the question. Okay, I don't have a gun set up. That's stupid, isn't it? All right, let's see what we can do from distance first. You know what? Oh, soon as I don't have to worry about keeping people alive, I'm going to put my guns back on my... Why am I poisoned? Is the atmosphere poisonous? Lovely. Okay. I don't think I need to be invisible here. Got face time and, and sensing where they are. I know I could make them drop the weapons with the creator's piece, but that just feels cheating, and I'm not in the mood to cheat. I'm sure if I start dying a lot, I probably will be in the mood to cheat. But until then, I'm going to give them false hope that they can keep up with me. Because I'm kind like that. Seriously? Ow! Thank you. Uh, Vasco, if you wouldn't mind hitting him, that would help me out a lot. Well, use your bloody gun! Right, who else is there? Yeah, Vasco, use your weapons! Well, use it then! Okay, Vasco. I am taking damage. <laughs> All right, these guys are fairly tough. I'll give them that, but they're not tough enough to slow down time. <laughs> okay, they're tough enough to hit me once I come back out of the sun. System. Whoa! Vasco! Hurry up and help me! Vasco! Oh, for the love of... Oh, oh, that is robotic holy! Get up! Are you okay? Oh, no. Okay, I'm not in a position to help you yet. Fine. I will be in a second, though. Sit down! Shut up! 
Thank you. Who's next? Oh, you. Are we done yet? Or is there anybody else? One. Oh, for the love of. Oh, that is. Oh, it's you, Vasco. Well done. Alert. The enemy has returned. You don't say.